All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do a little bit trickier or a little harder member force calculation this time. So uh, they want us to find how much force is in member BD this time. So let's go ahead and uh, pitter patter. Let's get at her. Um, so here we go. We've got uh, Y dimension of 10 feet, X dimension 8 feet, and Z dimension is 10 feet as well. And uh, let's see, let's see, it says 23 pounds, and at D is 26, and at E is 37. And just like we had to do before, we have to calculate our reaction force at B in the Y direction. This one would cause a moment. This one would cause a moment. Both negative clockwise moments. And this one would not be a moment at all. And so this one has to go counterclockwise and be a positive moment. So 26 times 8 plus 37 times 18 equals RFBY times 18. And 26 times 8 and add 37 times 18. And you get 874. And when we divide that by 18, that will give me RFBY, which is. Apologize for the noise in the background. Woke up a little later this morning, 48.5 repeating pounds of force. So this is going to be going up, and it will be 48.5 pounds of force all right so now what we got to do is a free body diagram of b and we've got 48.5 going up we've got be we've got uh, we've got bd we've got uh, we'll call this bf like i forgot to put f there and uh, that's all. So, unfortunately, uh, if I look at the sum of the forces in the y direction uh, being zero, I've got BE, I've got 48.5, and I've got BD in the y direction have to be zero. And the only one I know is 48.5 going up. So that's not a lot of help. And similarly, if I look over here at the sum of the forces in the x habit of B0 at point B, yes, I forgot to put point B here, uh, I've got BF, I've got BD in the F, and I'm sorry, BD in the uh, x, and that's it. So somehow they have to equal zero, but I don't know directions of those. So actually, I can't solve this unless I go outside of B. And if I go outside of B, uh, the one thing that will be very helpful to me is E. Because the sum of the forces in the Y at E have to be zero. And I know I've got 37 pushing down. That means that this would be 37 pushing up from BE. And if it goes up here, it's going to go down here and be 37 pounds of force. So now I can go ahead and say that that's 37 coming down and minus 37 plus 48.5. That means that BD in the Y has to be going down as well. All right. So that's how I figure out that direction. That also means it goes to the right. So BD in the X is positive and BF is negative. So I can solve this to figure out that BD in the Y is 11.5. All right. And if I know that BD is this, and in the Y direction, I know, I just want to check and make sure I haven't run out of time yet. All right. Looks like we're in good shape still. Um BD in the Y is 11.5, but we don't know BD in the X. I'm going to use similar triangles. And we've got a 10-foot by 10-foot 
So how much is uh, BD and EX going to be? 